Despite always being around people, I feel quite alone. So yesterday we drove three hours up north to my friend's beautiful cottage that her mom literally designed herself. Can I me? Seeing all the beautiful detailing and choices she made in the house just felt so inspiring. It's so gorgeous. The little lighthouse in the distance. I have attempted a leak pancake. She's cute! <laughs> I think the leak to flower ratio is... It smells good. I just need to get a little more brown, maybe. I don't know. Are you serious? This is my first time seeing dunes in the winter. It's so fun. that's like waiting for the child to be done playing. <laughs> I ended up calling Andrew today, my ex, who I'm on so, you know, very good terms with. I love him very much. He kind of brought up how processing pain can be very subtle. We kind of usually imagine it to be really intense, very emotional, crying, pain. And I guess I don't have those tearful moments anymore that I should be okay, that I'm fine. But there's still a really big feeling of emptiness inside me. And I feel really guilty about it, to be honest, because I feel like I can't be fully 100% present present with my friends or with my family like i'm here with them but i'm not enjoying the moment as fully as i would have before these days i just feel like i'm looking for distractions or external sense of fulfillment i catch myself scrolling endlessly through reels checking my phone my messages which is so unlike me even though it's past midnight i think i'm gonna do a little yoga session. The Divine Feminine and Self-Love Comedic Yoga Flow by Sarah West. Her guided visualizations at the end always make me feel so full of love and peace. Exhale, stepping it between both your hands, rotating your left foot out 45 degrees. Inhale, raising your arms up above. Hello, today we're painting with soy milk. Paint on the soy milk and then leave it there for a week. And then you can dye over it. You kind of let go of perfectionism, like I said, because if you make a mistake, you can always go back and change it or go over it or use it for something else. And it's one of those else. things where it's like, it's slightly out of your control too. Like once you dip yeah. it in, it's not like a pixel that you No. Like... <laughs> I don't know, what is your relationship with perfectionism now? Doing art. Partly for me, like perfectionism comes from like the feelings of like judgment. I'm like, oh, people are gonna think this is stupid. This is a dumb idea. Oh, I feel like mine comes from like personal judgment where like I won't feel impressed by it that I don't even bother making it. Mm -hmm. But then that's like so sad. It's not possible to like always make things that you like. 
Yeah. Well, I feel like most artists, like everything they make is like, oh, this is stupid. And they don't really like it that much. Really? I just, I think of artists, I'm like, wow, everything they make is so nice. Everyone's like, like hot. Everyone, you're thinking everyone's having a hot, sexy time and literally yeah. everyone's <laughs> having like a bad time. <laughs> oh my God. No, I think that there's like a romantic idea of artists and I like that. I don't know anyone who doesn't struggle with perfectionism mm. and creativity. And as I get older, I like to remind myself that like, creativity is something that I like to do, not something that I need to do. And it's something I'm getting better at like letting go of. How did you become an exhibiting artist? Just apply for exhibits. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret, you just apply for things all the time. I feel like everyone's like, you're so successful. Like you're always like doing shows and doing residencies and all this stuff. And it's like, but for every 30 things I apply to, I get maybe one thing, maybe. Mm. Like it's really really tough and I think people get discouraged very easily mm. <laughs> <laughs> Apply for one thing. I'm like, I'm just not cut out for it. I guess <laughs> I think it's kind of a hard pill to swallow But then when you're constantly getting rejected every single day, you kind of just get over it <laughs> Sick. So you just gotta get rejected more. Yeah, basically okay. like I woke I wake up I look at my email and it's like sorry to say but we've went with someone else for this application and I'm like, well, that's how I'm starting my day Oh just, wait, I just started painting with the soy milk I'm drinking from. Is <laughs> that <laughs> okay? That's fine, okay. yeah. Was that a cue? Uh, I don't know. It's like a leaf. Oh. I don't know what it looks like. Okay, where are you doing it? I know, I made you a hat. Oh, thanks. You want to put it in? <laughs> you put your bundles and you steam it, and then the steam makes the onion leave an imprint on the fabric. Let's see what happens. And then these ones are kind of funny. I think they look like bruises. So this is the pink one. Is that the one I made? This is the one you made. Then I think this might have been our collaborative one. Jeez, they do look like bruises. <laughs> but I kind of like oh, it. Oh wait, this looks like the, the flower I made on the bottom. Oh yeah, there it is. Beautiful. The little flower. This one's the little hat that you made. Oh yes. <laughs> Hi. Say something to the camera. Very good. <laughs> We're going to go visit the farm of Holly's friend. Ooh, let's do POV Life of Pepper. POV Life of Pepper. Oh my god, this looks so scary. <laughs> You go first. Oh. This one is easy to interact with. Hello. I'm not a carrot. Do they bite? They might nibble on you, but they shouldn't bite. They're actually shivering because they're, I guess, a little nervous. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, it's all good. It's interesting. It's good for them to. Builds I didn't character. realize. Builds character. Yeah. Trauma. <laughs> is that the mama and dada? The dad we sold. Oh, oh, my dad. dad. Yeah. <laughs> but They're these so are two cute. Moms, and then the other mom is married. What about lesbian co parents? Yeah. And the baby's <laughs> actually um, supposed to drink this one's milk. So, so, and one cute. of them was had her neck like this one. Yeah.
356 out in the Arctic. Do you think my tongue would stick to it if I licked it? Probably, that's a bit dirty. Oh, oh my god, it's starting to stick a little bit. You're a risk taker, Leah. Ah! Ew, it's sandy. Mmm, delicious sand. It's like snow and a layer of sand on top. Look, it's like a sandwich. Frisbee. Is that one mine? I don't know which one is which. Oh, right, can't see it. Tablecloth in the pot. That's an orange, orange pico. This is Leah's. <gasps> Wow! It looks so oh my good. god! I love it. She's so cute. Look, mom! Look what I made. <laughs> Why is it in San? Dodi is San Jer or Jer? Four Jer. No, you can't just say it. You have to show 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 it. You Wait, is it? Coming back home, I feel very empty. Not really sure what I'm doing next in life. Definitely impulse is like, oh, I want to buy like a one-way ticket to Paris or Berlin or somewhere. Just like escape and romanticize my life. But it also doesn't feel like the move right now. I spent the past weekend with friends, which I thought would cheer me up. I guess it kind of did in the moment, but there are also a lot of times where I was around people, but I still felt very lonely, even though I get along really well with them. Lots of stuff running through my head, feeling a bit stressed and a little bit overwhelmed sometimes. I think something good will come along for sure. I'm just waiting to accept the invitation and do what I can and what feels good while I'm here right now. I feel like I've been really questioning a lot of my decisions lately. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next. I have ideas for what I wanna do this year, but everything still feels very blurry. <sighs> this whole period right now feels very groggy and unsettling. I feel like I have a lot of anxiety, even when I'm trying to chill and be still. I guess this was a really <laughs> fun and exciting update. Um, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Thanks for always leaving lovely messages in the comments and updating me about your lives and also sharing very vulnerable with me. So I really appreciate that. <sighs> I'm excited for the world to go back to normal again and to travel and meet more of you guys. I think that would be so fun. I was writing down all the people I was really thankful to meet in the past year and 
literally 90% of the people I met because of YouTube. Like whether they're also creators that make videos or just people that I met who reached out to me and then we were in the same city or literally bumped into the street and just vibed so hard that we became friends on the spot and hung out more. Like really magical moments. I think maybe I'll just think about those more. Thinking about those moments that I'm really grateful for make me feel better. Wow, I actually feel instantaneously so much better right now. That's wild. Wow, thanks for listening. I feel better. I feel like I can go to bed happy now. <sighs> okay, good night. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for caring about me and being my internet friends. And also IRL friends who are watching. I love you guys.